here's the set. Um, <laughs> Tom Brady's in the new. I'm glad that Tom Brady stays relevant because I have a joke about him. <laughs> like last year when he kissed his son. I don't know if you watched that video. I like that video a lot. <laughs> Where Tom Brady's getting rubbed down, his son kisses him, then his son leaves, and then Tom Brady is like, no, son, come back. And then he kisses him a second time, a little open mouth. <laughs> On the second, yeah, I like that video a lot. I like it a lot. Just because people were like mad online. They're like, that's gross. Tom Brady, why would you kiss your son like that? But like people just don't get it. You know, like that's just how white families kiss. <laughs> yeah, like I've been tonguing my dad since I was three years old. And that's how you pass on white privilege. You just tongue your dad. Uh. And then you gentrify a neighborhood, that's how it works. <laughs> I moved here to follow my dreams, I've just been sleeping on an air mattress. <laughs> Which is a lot like having dreams, you know, because every night you go to bed and you're like, oh, I hope that this works out. <laughs> and nine times out of 10, it does not, you know. Not a very good mattress, an air mattress. I don't know, I'm trying to be like an adult, but I know I'm not because the other day for dinner, I had an entire package of Kraft single slices. Yeah, that's 40 pieces of processed cheese. That, you can't eat those accidentally. You have to unwrap each one and shove it into your face. That's a conscious decision I made. I don't know, I just haven't been to therapy since I moved. I think that's been messing me up. Uh, because I moved from Canada, they're like, you can have this for free. And then I came here, they're like, nothing's free. And I'm like, but I think I need help. They're like, well, you should die. <laughs> I don't really want to go to therapy anymore because in my last session, my therapist, she asked me a dumb question. She was like, what's one thing you would change about yourself? And I was like, well, that's your fucking job to figure out. <laughs> I don't know why we're wasting our time. Like, I'm laying on this leathery couch, my back is sweating, then I have to do your job for you? Like, I'm not a therapist. I don't have glasses. Like, you can't be a therapist and not have glasses. You know, I have 20-20 vision. I can't see who I am. I... I also don't think you can change things about yourself. I think you're just who you are. And uh, if you suck, well, you know. Like, just because I learned this valuable life lesson a couple years ago where I'm from in Vancouver, uh, when this lady, uh, she threw her baby off the Capilano suspension bridge. Yeah, it's a nice bridge. Uh, <laughs> no, it's really nice. Like, Google it, like, after this, like, immediately. Like, you would take your family there, and, like, it's a smooth bridge. There's a waterfall and trees. It's not like you take a picture, you post that online, you're going to get, like, 50 to 55 likes. And that's kind of what you're going for with a photo like that, you know. But she threw her baby <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> because her therapist was like, what's one thing you would change? <laughs> And she was like, well, actually, this baby, you know, is really holding me back. And, you know, I know it's pretty late in the getting rid of a baby stages, but, you know, my skills aren't in organization. Like, I'm not a good planner. Uh, so she threw her baby off the bridge. Like, I don't know how she threw it. I wasn't there. You know, I don't know if it was overhand. Uh, yeah, personally, I, I would have chest passed the baby, but... You know, that's just me. I'm a fundamental guy. Uh, I can do a left-handed layup nice. You know, Steve Nash is my idol. But she threw her baby off the bridge, and then the baby survived. Yeah, so it's just like sometimes you just can't change shit. <laughs> Maybe you're just a bad person. I don't know. A lot of people tense up on that, and I get it, you know. But that was... Her choice and I'm pro choice a lot of you I guess are not you know? and I know that's not like an A or B choice that's like a C choice it was said other and she was like fill in the blank <laughs> I don't know I've changed some things in my life like like I think porn is bad now I didn't used to think it was bad because I grew up on it you know like I'm young like that's like Saturday morning cartoons for me <laughs> I saw Two Girls, One Cup when I was eight. Oh. Oh, was yeah, I was eight years old when I saw that. People are like, why are millennials so lazy? It's because I watched that at eight years old. And then I was like, what's a job, you know? 
because I wasn't even watching good porn when I was watching it. Like, I was just watching people like me and you, you know, just trying to make rent. <laughs> I wasn't paying for premiums. That's not good porn to watch. It's sad. Like, I was watching this one, and it, she, his guy having sex with her here, and I know this kind, like, it's no face in this shot, you know? Like, we've all seen it, no face. He's having sex. You guys get it. It's porn. <laughs> and he goes, oh, it feels so good. I'm gonna come inside of you. And then she turned around, you know, she wasn't supposed to, I know this shot. Um, you're not, you know, she's breaking character. I'm, I can't come <laughs> if you break character. <laughs> and she says, don't come inside of me. I don't have birth control. Oh, uh. And then he went, uh. <laughs> you know, and he came inside of her. And then she went, what the, and it, cut to black <laughs> and I'm worried about her I, I was in a long distance relationship for a while uh, which is a weird situation to be in I don't know if you've ever been in one uh, it's kind of like if you had a donut yeah and like but the donut was really far away <laughs> and you really wanted to eat that donut you know but you were kind of worried Someone else is gonna eat the donut. <laughs> and it's not because you don't trust the donut. You, know, like, you trust the donut. It's just like a really good donut. You know? And someone's definitely gonna try to fuck this donut. <laughs> you know, you weren't cream filled when I left you. I don't know, the first time I, I had uh, sex with my uh, ex girlfriend, she only had a box of Magnum condoms. Uh, but there is only one condom left in the box. And like, I don't know if that's how she bought them. <laughs> you know, I'm not familiar with the process. If you are like cool dick or whatever. <laughs> Nagging comes out for me. I, it's kind of like, I don't know if you had a friend when you were a kid and their family owned a boat. <laughs> so you went to the lake with that friend and like, you didn't have a life jacket, you know, who has their own life jacket. That'd be weird to show up with that. But like, so their family, they lent you a life jacket and you put it on, you're on land, you're dry. You're like, wow, this life jacket fits. I feel so safe in this life jacket. And then you go out into the boat, into the middle of the lake, and then you jump into the middle of the lake and the life jacket, it just like, <laughs> And just no more life jacket. <laughs> like, oh, that life jacket didn't fit at all. Okay. All right, goodbye. I'm leaving forever.